Okay, so in this video we're going to go through the collection and syncing of data from the Epi Info app on your tablet. So we're going to start by choosing our correct form. So we're going to click Collect Data and choose our form from the drop-down list. I'm going to choose Dogalog for the example and click Load when you're ready. You can see we already have three records in here that are already synced. You can tell they're synced because they have a tick in the cloud icon next to the record name. And we're going to open a new record. You get one record per dog. So open a new record. And you see that it starts with address. And we're going to start that address by the name of the banjo. I'm going to use Nagari as an example. And also then a number because we split our banjals down into numbered divisions so that we have smaller populations of dogs from which to find our records. And then you can continue this with any information you like about the location that's going to help you find the dog record in the future. Now note one other thing is that if you have more than one dog living in the household, you might want to copy and paste this address information so if you just hold your finger down on the address and click select all and then you can say copy. And that means that when you open a dogalog record later on for a second dog that lives at the same address, you can just hold your finger down again and click paste and that full address will be pasted in. So that saves you from typing everything out a second time. Okay, so now going down to the, the name of the dog. If this is a stray dog without an owner, then you're going to type stray, but then also some description of the dog. So you could say that this was a, a large white male that lives in the market area. And again, this will just help you locate the correct record when you go back to see that dog. But um, if this is an owned dog, you want to put the first name of the dog. Let's call it Blackie. And then also the surname of the owner, so we can call this one Blackie Serrana. Okay, then we have the date that it enters the dog log, and the description of the dog. I'm not going to fill everything in now. Photo, whether it's male or female, let's put this down as a male. Its type, whether it's owned, let's say this is an owned dog. Then you have to enter information about the owner. When you get to age, do take a little bit of time over this. You only have to enter the age once for each dog on the day that it enters the dog log. So let's say that this was five years and six months old. You then have to enter your name and a drop down list of the banjo. Now from get coordinates onwards, you then have to check the information for that dog at every visit. You may not need to change it. So this includes questions about their sterilisation status and about their vaccination status, which may or may not change between visits. Now, if the dog is vaccinated, you have to ask the owner when that vaccination happened. They might know the month, but not the date. So, for example, they knew it happened in December, but they weren't sure when. You choose the 1st of December. And you can see that for this last field, the number of days until revaccination this is an automatic field that will be calculated for you. So, for example, if um, we hear that actually the dog is not vaccinated, we'll see that that number automatically goes to zero, meaning that the dog needs to be vaccinated uh, immediately. OK, so then we have uh, this button to open the visit record. So, how is the dog today? And this then opens what is called our dog status record, our status engine. And we're going to complete one of these every time we visit the dog. So again, we're going to open a new record by clicking the blue button with the white cross. And that opens our visit record. And so we can enter today's date. Um, we can say if this dog um, is still in the uh, owned by the, uh, this person or not. If it is has left this owner, you're actually just going to fill in why that happens. And then you're going to stop the visit record at this stage. However, if the um, dog has not left the household, it's still owned by the same person, then you're going to go through the rest of the questions. So we're going to um, enter its body condition, its skin condition, whether it has any visible wounds. When it comes to how the dog is kept, if you choose either kennel or tether, you will be asked to um, say whether the dog has access to shade or water. However, if you say that instead the dog is allowed to roam, 
those questions are greyed out because they're not really relevant anymore. And then we have some questions about behavioural response. So firstly you're going to ask the owner, can they call the dog over and pet the dog? And you're going to record its response based on these different categories. So let's say that was a positive response. Once that's completed for the owner, it's then your turn. So you call the dog over and see if you can pet it. And again, school the dog for how it responded. So let's say it was wary when you tried to do the same thing. Then there's some questions that are relevant only for fe to females about pregnancy, lactation and litters in the previous 12 months. And then we have sections about... Um, uh, veterinary needs for this dog, either immediate veterinary needs, so it's quite seriously ill, or it needs a veterinary assistance within the next week. And if you tick one of these boxes, you see that uh, the several reasons here pop up that you can tick for why it might need help within the next week. Okay, so that completes the visit record, and we're going to save the record. So in the top right hand corner, you see a disk icon and the word save record, so we click that. That's the visit record saved. We now click the back button and that goes back to the dogalog record for this particular dog. Again, we're going to save record and then we have our list of records. So we can see that the top three records are already ticked, so those records are already synced. But now we need to sync this for this fourth record. Remember that you do not need to have Wi-Fi connection when you are filling in the records. But when you need to sync, you do need to have access to the internet, so you do need Wi-Fi at that stage. Okay, so to sync a record, we first of all go to the menu, which is top right-hand corner. You can see three little dots. We click that, and the menu opens, and we ask to sync with cloud. And the, a syncing means that the data on your tablet is copied to a database that is accessed through the internet. So we can see now that that record has synced. We can see it has a tick next inside the cloud icon next to that record. But remember, for the dogalog, we need to do this process twice. So for the attitude survey and absentee forms, you only have to sync once. But the dogalog is create is formed of two forms. So we're going to go back into that record we've just done. We scroll down to the bottom and open up the visit records. And we basically follow that exact same process. So again, we go to the menu and ask to sync with cloud. Now we're doing this for just one visit record for one dog, however by doing this successfully that will sync all of the visit records for all dogs. So you just need to do this process once for one visit record to have all of those records synced. It has been synced. So we're going to click back again now, we go back to the dogalog record and click back one more time. Ask if you want to exit the form. We say yes because we haven't changed the form this time. And we're back to our main list of dogalog, uh, main list of dogs in our dogalog record. I'm just going to show you one more thing, and that's how to search through your records. So you have a little um, search icon up here. Click on that, and you can search for. Um, this will search any uh, text that you have typed into these records. So, for example, we can order by address, so we can put in Nagari1, oh, excuse my spelling, Nagari1, and click the, um, the search icon, and that will show all the records that have Nagari1 written somewhere in the record. So that will help us to um, narrow down to subpopulations within our banjos. You can also search by name. So, for example, you know that there's um, the dog's name is Blackie. You could type that in and click search. And then only those dogs with the name Blackie will turn up in the, um, the, res the records here. So that's your way of searching through your records. Okay, so that completes the process of the video for uh, data collection and syncing using EpiInfo app on your tablet.